So starting off at the central station of my setup over here, this is where I've got my computer, my studio monitors, my audio interfaces, keyboard, mouse, microphone stand, all that stuff set up. So basically for my main computer right now, I'm using a 2019 iMac. It's got the Core i7 6 core processor with 16 gigs of RAM and it's got the base graphics card. I don't do a lot of stuff that's really heavy on the graphics card. I mean, I do music production and editing my podcast that we just started doing, the Upper Room Podcast. Shameless plug. But this is my computer that I'm rocking at the moment. For my studio monitors, Fairly cheap monitors, they're about a hundred bucks. They're the Presonus Aris 3.5 inch uh, studio monitors. Super good sounding for what I use them for. I mean, playing back music, mixing and stuff when I'm using them, they always sound pretty dope. I've never had a problem out of them so far. My audio interface, I actually have three or four audio interfaces, but my main one is the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. And I've had this one for about a month and it's been super super nice like it's got the two preamps in there and direct monitoring and Focusrite has this cool air setting that they use that I've never had on any of my Behringer interfaces so that's pretty cool besides that over here we've just got my headphone amp and I pretty much just use this for when I'm doing my podcast so all four of the people that I do it with can all monitor themselves through the headphones. Unfortunately, that's not something that can be done directly through the mixer. The keyboard, just the stock Magic Keyboard from Apple that comes with the iMac. Same for the mouse, not too crazy about the mouse. I'll probably end up getting something else to use, but for now, I like the gestures, the touch gestures on there, so that's kind of what I've been rocking with. The mic stand, this is just a cheap, like $20 mic stand from Amazon, like a boom clamp stand that clamps to the desk, and it works pretty good, so, I mean, for what I use it for, like I said, my podcast, and just sometimes, occasionally, recording guitar and vocals, it works really good. The headphones are the Audio-Technica, what are these down here? The ATH M20X, I think I paid, like... $50 for those and they sound pretty good for what I'm using them for Microphone One of the cheapest microphones you can get on Z Zounds or Sweetwater is the Behringer C1 condenser mic It's cheap, but don't let it fool you. It is a very good sounding microphone I've, I've used it for a lot of stuff and it's not failed me so far over here the beloved in the community the Akai MPK mini mark 2 MIDI controller. Super, super nice. I love the hell out of that thing. I've used it quite a bit. Have a lot of a lot of good tunes made with it and it's super cool. So that's pretty much what I've got going on on the desk right here. This is kind of like where I pretty much live. Over directly to the left is where I have my kind of gear cabinet over here. On top of the gear cabinet I've got the Behringer UMC 404 HD. That's a mouthful. That's the audio interface that I use pretty much specifically for the podcast that I do. Just because it's got the four inputs. It's it's super nice. I really like it. I think it was a couple hundred bucks from Z Zounds or Sweetwater, whichever one you prefer. This is just a little neon sign that I got that changes colors, RGB. I thought that was pretty cool. It matches my Lots that I have up under my desk. Just a cool little cool little thing to go with the rest of the room. These are just my remotes and a USB drive to control all that. Inside the gear cabinet, I've just got XLR cables, speaker cable, a bunch of just extra cables for audio interface. Just Keyboards, extra mixers. This was my first ever mixer, the UM2. Gaming mouse, courtesy of my good buddy. Extra keyboard, random stuff, pop filters, just all that good stuff that's going on in here. 
taking a step back and getting a better look at the whole package of the room i've got a lot of the room lined with the 12 by 1 inch foam with the base traps in the corners and that kind of goes all the way through this wall right here directly behind the desk then i've just got a few framed pictures of juice world r.i.p a couple of my favorite albums this table I'll probably end up getting rid of just because I don't like the cluttered look but I have a really bad habit of hanging on to boxes for things that I buy so these are just some of the boxes for some of the mixers and the MIDI controllers and headphones and other things that I've bought in the past that's just an amp with some microphone cases I actually almost forgot this is the Audio Technica AT2020. I think it's a cardioid microphone or maybe a condenser. I'm really not sure. It's actually not my microphone, it's one of my friends. I've got that and two more of the Behringer C1 in these cases over here. This is just a couple guitars. I've got the Epiphone SG and I'm pretty sure this is a Johnson. I don't know exactly what brand it is, but it's just a cheaper end Johnson acoustic guitar. I just got that for making music with, just needed something to record with, nothing too high end or anything. Moving on to the next side over here, the pretty much the last side of the room, I've got just this random kind of table over here, another chair, another amplifier, and another guitar. This is just a guitar that was given to me from a family member. I haven't got to do much with it yet, but it's just kind of sitting there for now until I end up figuring out what I want to do with it. This is my first computer that I've started doing music production with. This is like a $500 laptop. Kind of low-end specs, but it done the trick for me for a little bit, actually, and never really had any problems out of it. I just really have always wanted a, a iMac, so I finally was grateful enough to be able to upgrade to that. This is another just laptop stand that I've just got some books sit on. This is a book that my friend has let me use. This is the camera tripod for the camera that I have in my hand right now. This is a very cool Hylian shield that I think I got at Hot Topic a long ass time ago. But it looks pretty cool so I've just got it hanging there. And then finally, last but not least, the box to the iMac. Because like I said, I have a horrible habit of hanging on to every single box for everything I buy. I really need to do something with those. but. The very last thing I would say, this corner back here. This is the corner that I really haven't done much with yet. It's kind of not really much of anything. It's just got some extra chairs back there. This really weird kind of chair that I got from Goodwill, but I thought that it looked really cool. And just this big flag thing. <laughs> that's hanging there on the wall and a guitar box because like I said hang on to boxes so that's this is pretty much the music studio bedroom studio slash studio where I shoot the upper room podcast out of I plan on posting a lot more videos getting better with editing I'm gonna try to edit this the best that I can see what I can come up with but I really really love watching like bedroom studio tours and I kinda wanted to do one of my own in the future when I get a little bit better I'll do a much better one, but for now, this is what I'm rocking with. This is the studio that I'm shooting all my stuff out of and making all my stuff out of. So, here we go, guys. Thank you for watching, and yeah, I appreciate it.